All right, what's going on, you guys? It is your boy, Jake, favorite investor, and today uh, we have a scheduled time here, and a lot of you guys have been getting texts and the emails about it, a scheduled time to go over the mentorship program, do a little Q&A, answer your questions. Since we're increasing the price point next week, I guess next month, and, uh, uh, and I've been kind of away from the gram, I guess, for the last few weeks, uh, just getting, you know, getting everything settled with this move, I want to just break it down, get on here, talk to you guys live, answer your questions, uh, maybe even bring some people in from the Flip family to talk about what they've done, their experience, the good, the bad, the ugly, but what's going on, y'all? It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Let me get some water in me. My wife is even on here from the other room. I like it. What's up, babe? Now, it's a little echoey in this room because my, <laughs> my desk for the new office still hasn't been delivered but we're gonna make do. Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. What's up, Bob? Hey, Ali, what's going on? Let me put the link in here, then we'll get it going. All right, got it up there. What's going on, Drew? Oh, we got the Flip family in the house. Are you able to partner with the VA to pay for the, the mentorship program? I have no idea. Uh, this is not like an accredited institution. I have no desire to be part of the formal education process. I feel like alternative education like this is the way of the future. Uh, very specific, like technical education, but I have no idea as far as the VA program. Now, you guys, if, uh, if you have, and Ch Chelsea's really heavily involved. Chelsea's on here, the Chelsea Colton. She's heavily involved with VA. Uh, if you have answers for that, Chelsea, let them know. But um, you guys, look, my name is Jake. I may be your favorite investor, soon to be your favorite investor, hopefully. Um, 37 years old, been flipping houses for about 11 years. I'm 900 plus flips deep. I started with no money. Uh, I was broke. I, I just tried to start a business uh, and it failed tremendously. Uh, but I got into real estate investing from a, a, I saw a dude from HGTV doing a, an infomercial. I bought his free book, free plus shipping. They upsold me to a seminar. My girlfriend put it on her credit card at the time and I haven't looked back since. That was in 2011. It saved my life, it changed my life not only from a financial standpoint, but I think more importantly from a personal development standpoint, it taught me to uh, well, have confidence in moving around the marketplace, gave me self-esteem. I've always battled with depression, anxiety type stuff, especially earlier on and you know, when I was younger. I haven't really battled with it much recently, but I think a lot of it had to do with me having purpose and identity and being able to maneuver with purpose and identity. And this game has given me the self-esteem to, to be able to do that. And I think ultimately it gives me the ability to um, understand that time is the most important resource. This gives me a tremendous flex flexibility uh, and freedom with time for me to be a parent, be a husband, uh, do all those kind of things while still making a pretty good amount of money uh, flipping houses, right? And so that's what we're teaching people from. Haven't done everything right, that's for sure. I've taken some losses in my career, some relatively big ones, because once you start making money and you're not used to making money, uh, it went to my head and I'm not gonna lie about that. But uh, I've been able to do a lot of pretty cool things, uh, learn a lot about myself, teach others, help them learn a lot about themselves. And so in today's um, presentation or live or whatever we're gonna call it here, I've got the whiteboard, I've got the trusty pen, um, but I want this to be kind of an open-ended Q&A because we have a lot of people that have been applying for mentorship program that have had questions, uh, but I've been kind of in the dark as far as you know, coming up and sharing a lot of the stuff that I've been doing over the, these last couple of weeks on the move. Again, I just moved from California to Knoxville, Tennessee. And I mean, and let me show you, like this is what my office is looking like right now. It's just boxes everywhere. But um, I'm still buying and selling properties in the process of it. Um, it can be an extremely part-time thing if that's what you wanna do. You can do it in addition to a nine to five. Um, and so that's what I teach. I teach what I do and I'm here to answer your questions today. What up, Lisey? Cash flow, what's up? Now, hey, so before we get into the Q&A, by the way, if you do have questions, and this one's gonna be centered around the program, there should be a question mark down here, I think. Hit that question mark, answer your question so I can bring it up on the screen. First off, so everybody knows what question I'm answering, but secondly, as a dude, I can do one thing at a time, and I like to talk, and if I get carried away telling stories, I'll forget what the hell I was answering, so I need that on the screen to make sure to bring me back home. All right, um, so where, where are we gonna start here today? So questions down here, that's good. Um, yeah, I mean, let's break it down. Let's see what we got. Oh, actually, before we even do it, 
who here is new to the page? Who here has only been on the page for, let's say, the last month? Um, since July 1st, who, who's new? Give me like a, let me read the room here. How do I feel about foreclosures? I love them, but there's not a ton of them out there right now because everybody has record equity in their homes. All right, Aliza QTZL, what's going on? Welcome. Jordy, what's up, Jordy? Jord no, Jordan Love, what's going on? Kid Aguilar, welcome. DNU and you, 1981, welcome. Santiago 2, welcome. The Alex BPM, welcome. Mari E. Maldonado, welcome. Hexo 6, welcome. China 605, welcome. China 605, welcome. Olu Gentu, welcome. Uh, Skin Low Curls Poppin', welcome. <laughs> Black Girl CC. Welcome, Sammy Alley, 62. Not to be confused with Sammy Alley, 63. Welcome. Real Rob Money, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Elvis, appreciate it. Okay, so we have a, a lot of new people here too. So when I answer a lot of the questions that I'm gonna have today, um, I'm gonna break them down as simple as possible because there's jargon that we use in the business if people are experienced in the business and by jargon, like we call different types of loans certain things. I'm gonna break it down so everybody can understand it and really bring it to the basic level. Um, and that's how we're gonna approach all this stuff, okay? So uh, everybody that's new, good to see you in the room. I do these lives before the move. I was doing them once a week. When we do open enrollment for mentorship program, which will be next week or the week after, it's gonna be at a higher price point though. We're gonna break, you know, uh, I usually do lives a little bit more often with those, but most of my time is either with my family, my wife, right? Um, it's coaching our students, it's doing flips myself, and it's taking a freaking second to relax. Um, so those of you that are newer, you'll see me jump on these every, you know, every week or so, breaking down properties, using this whiteboard to do that. What's up, Lydia? We have, so we have a lot of new people and we have a lot of the flip family on here as well. I think I'm gonna have some of them join in. Mustard Boy, what's up, dude? It's been years. Where's Ketchup Boy? All right, so here we go. First and foremost, does your program, what's up, Joey? Does your program help and find listings? Yes, we do. Must, yeah, Mustard Boy is in the house. So yeah, we do. So, part, so here's how the program is structured, okay? There's three pieces to the program. One, we have just a masterclass. It's a five week masterclass. It's daily content and it's a very strategic order for you to go from A to Z, learning the whole process of flipping houses from the money to the contractors, to negotiating deals, to generating leads, okay? To the exit strategy and everything in between, right? Um, and so it's very in depth. It's probably 60 hours, but it's, it, it's, it, it's a streamlined process from point A to point Z of how to find, fund, fix, and flip a house and get paid, and then how to do it multiple times using other people's money, or you can use your own money. Uh, you can do it, uh, if you're a contractor, or if you're not a contractor, you can do it in your hometown or clear across the country. Uh, you don't have to have ex you know, experience. You don't have to have um, a license or certain education level. You do need to have a little bit of hustle and a willingness to get outside your comfort zone. I could teach anyone out there uh, how to flip a house from A to Z, the hard part, and I can, I can simplify that pretty well. I've been doing it for a while now, okay? The hard part and the variable is that people are willing to get out of their way and establish new habits. Getting outside of the comfort zone can be scary. Taking accountability for the win is scary because you have no one to blame for the loss. So there's a lot of uh, mindset stuff that goes into it, and that's also addressed in the content, right? So the content is essentially the rules to the game. And you know, a big part of that, uh, to answer your question, Joey, um, is learning how to find the right listings, but not just that, but to find listings that have motivated sellers behind them, okay? We buy houses that are distressed, but sometimes we buy houses that are in good shape. The key to the game is understanding if there's a motivated seller. And the idea to it, once you get running, you know, rocking and rolling and start getting that momentum, is to have leads coming to you on autopilot, not only from real estate agents, not only from wholesalers, but also programming, I got another phone somewhere over here, also programming the MLS or Redfin or Zillow to send you leads based on criteria that you put into them. Speed is king, and so being able to spot a motivated seller, to analyze a deal super quickly, and get your offers out there, that it's, it's very important in this game, and we really lean into that in the program, okay? So tier one is learning the rules to the game, and that's, that's a, a masterclass, it's like my life's work masterclass, okay? The second tier of it is one-on-one -on -one with me, okay? I, I work with everybody as much or as little as they need. Now, I do push you and I do not do the work for you, I'm in the passenger seat. But if you look at it from the, the rules of the game metaphor, the masterclass is the rules to the game, 
the one-on-ones, and I do them, actually Bridget does them as well, uh, Grant does one-on-ones, they do phone calls as well, um, and they're all super experienced in this, but the one-on-ones are, so you have the rules to the game, it's how to play within those rules to win based on your skill set, the amount of experience or lack of experience that you have, right? Everybody's a little bit different, everyone has different goals, and so we work with you individually to thrive based on those rules to the game that you've learned in order to go out there and win. I do treat this as a game, but it's a game that I play to win and I teach other people to win it as well, okay? So that's the second, the second aspect of it, okay? The third aspect, and I think the most important in the big picture is the network, okay? It's our Flip family. When we first brought it up, and I, I know there's a lot of Flip family members in here right now, but when you hear me refer to the Flip family, that's a mentorship program, I guess students, I call it the family, it is kind of a family thing. Um, and we are almost at 900 people and we have a private group, actually a couple private groups, where people are sharing resources, people are celebrating their wins, they're giving advice to each other, they are collaborating, sharing lenders. A lot of people, we probably got about 100 people that are gap funders in the group where they're funding each other's deals. Uh, it truly is a family environment. With a family environment, it's kind of like if you drink too much wine on Thanksgiving, sometimes people don't get along, sometimes they disagree. But everybody, and look, everybody looks different, everybody worships different, you know, people, you know, people are attracted to, you know, they love differently, you know, whatever you want to call it, all the political correct bullshit that's out there. Um, we're all different. We, we have different political beliefs, but the common denominator in the Flip family is everybody understands one thing, or I guess a couple things. With everybody, this is where our, our, our truest potential lies, and this is where we're at. I don't think anybody ever meets their truest potential. And then, so there's two things with potential that everybody is on the same page with, regardless of whether their goal is to flip houses, to make money and buy a Lamborghini, whether it's to make money to buy their time back and spend more time with their kids, to have flexibility and schedule, right? There's a lot of different reasons. But if our potential's here and we're right here, we're trying to bridge that gap between where we're at and where our truest potential is, while at the same time, we're trying to push our limits of what we can really be. And that's why I say like, it's family, you know, some people like each other, some people don't, but everybody has that common denominator within the group. You can tap in from a phone from anywhere in the country. Let's say you're in Texas, you wanna flip a house in Minnesota and you have a lender in Chicago, right? You can tap into the group and make all that happen. Uh, and it's an amazing thing. I've taught and written curriculum for a lot of the top, uh, you know, programs and seminar companies out there. I've been doing that. Well, I don't do it anymore, but you know, six, seven years. And I've been a part, I've been an advanced coach with some of those groups. I've been the keynote speaker in some of those groups. And, uh, you know, I'm saying this and I'm partial and biased, of course, but I haven't seen anything like our group. They empower each other. They carry each other up. Like Allie, which, which she was working in the ER, she had a deal that was going and she wrote in the group. She was like, Oh, I, I have this thing and I'm on this timeline, but I'm at work. Anybody have suggestions? And people literally got on and started calling the contractor she had on file to help her get her flip done while she was, she was working. And that's just like a small example. We laugh, we cry, right? We discussed it, you know, the, the current events and real estate and economics and everything. We share those W's. Um, and so big picture, you know, the, the, the masterclass is the rules to the game. Right, the one-on-ones is playing within those rules to win, okay? It's not to participate, we're trying to win. And I'm, I'm, I'm unapologetic about that. I'm trying to make money in this game. But with the group, in big picture, once you have that momentum, you've learned how to win, you start getting, you know, you start really creating big opportunity, life starts changing, you're dealing with hundreds of other people that are in that same position, right? There are different uh, spots in their journey, but it resonates with everyone. And, and I'm very proud of the group when I first started Flip Family, right? Uh, I just thought it sounded cool because both words start with F. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, don't hate. Um, but uh, it really has manifested into a family. I'm very, it's, I'm very proud of the group. Um, sometimes they get frustrated with me and I get frustrated with them and we get frustrated with each other, but it's all love regardless of our differences of opinions and all the bullshit in the world right now. So it's a pretty cool thing. What's up, Flip Family? And I know that that kind of answered your question, but I figured I'd take that opportunity to really go deep into it. The group is, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll answer the other questions. And if there's anyone in the group here that wants to jump on, just let me know. All right. Let's cut to the chase. How much does the training cost? The mentorship program is 23 grand. It'll be 25 grand next week. Uh, there's payment plans. There's a third party OPM lender that if you have a 620 credit score and make 35 grand a year before taxes, They'll fund you with a three, four, five year loan. Uh, so you can get in on, on different payment plan types if that's what you want to do. You know, um, but yeah, the total investment in the mentorship program is 23 G's. 
We have a masterclass option that doesn't have mentorship, that's a little bit less expensive, but doesn't have the one-on-ones or the group. Um, yeah, so there's options with that, but mentorship program is 23 grand, it'll be 25 grand next month. And the reason we got to that is because we have proof that we can make you 10X on that. We have a lot of people that are even on this live that are living proof of it. So I went, when I charge for this, because I spend my time on it, and you know, there, there's a lot of things that go into it, I wanna charge something that I know and have proof, that, that living proof, and there's people within their first 10 months that are making more than 10X the price point of entrance into the program. There's 14 day money back guarantee and all that kind of stuff, but I'm gonna challenge you, right? This isn't for people that just want someone to do the work for them. I'm gonna try to teach you to be a self-sustaining, self-sufficient real estate investor in today's market that has a confidence could be dropped anywhere in the country, in any situation, up market, down market, left, right market, and you'll still be able to thrive. And there's a lot of opportunity in having that skill set. Yeah, I remember being 19 too. As we get results, we increase the price point. All right? So, let's get to questions. This, this is a good one right here. So, what's your criteria for a motivated seller? So, sell, sellers can be motivated for a number of different reasons. Um, like, if you have a distressed property, right? Let's say somebody has a distressed property. I mean, when I first learned, they said it's the four Ds, right? There's... There's always, uh, uh, this sounds like really shitty too, but there's like, people are always moving, right? There's death, like somebody inherits a property, they just wanna get rid of it, right? There's disease, right? Sometimes people need to cash out of a property and do it quickly because there's something else. There's divorce, sometimes people are forced to offset a property. And what's the other one? Disaster, right? Like hurricane comes through, you get the insurance check, you just, you know, you sell the property where it's at. So there's tons of different reasons. People have different reasons to want to sell a property. And so a lot of times, like I buy a lot of properties that aren't necessarily in terrible condition. They may not quite be able to fit like the criteria to be sold to somebody getting a bank loan because they're not, they're still distressed. Um, and some of them are just beat to shit. They're like beater houses, like falling over. Um, but it's a numbers game. You look at, at the end of the day, you look at what you can resell it for with, you know, with full renovation based on what the neighborhood is doing, then you just work backwards. All right, so what's my rehab cost gonna be? What are my realtor fees gonna be? Closing costs, holding costs. And at this purchase price that I've come to, how much profit am I gonna make? And is that a deal or not? And so, I mean, it, it's just you're plugging different numbers into the same calculation, right? And so, I mean, I have like, let's see. Um, I bought, like I'm currently buying a property that's a probate where a dude has it and he just doesn't want to deal with it. There was tenants in it for a while. It shifted hands within a family. He's like, I just don't want, I want someone to buy a quick, reliable cash, cash deal. He gave it to me for like a $95,000 discount. And I'm in the process of buying that right now. One that I bought, um, I guess a week and a half ago, all the, I mean, since I've been here, it's like all the weeks are, maybe it's two weeks ago. Um, I bought it because the house had a foundation problem and the owner was an old dude. He was like, I just want to sell it to somebody that's going to take care of it and renovate it the right way. I just want, I want out, right? Uh, we have, you know, let's say somebody's facing foreclosure and they have a ton of equity in the home, but they're not paying their bills. Um, you know, sometimes they just need to move it quickly. They want to make some profit on it, um, but they just don't have the means or wherewithal. Life happens, right? Shit happens. You can't judge anybody for it. But we're here to solve a problem. And there's a number of problems out there. And typically, and there's little things that we do within the mentorship program where you can read whether it's a price point thing, you can read in the description whether they just want somebody to take it quickly. All it takes is a few questions from your real estate agent to really figure out what the driving force is behind getting a property. And you don't have to be living in the same town in order to do that. So anyway, good question. I hope I answered that okay. Now let's see who we got. Now we see we got, we got a few mentorship program people. I'm gonna bring some folks in. I've got a... Uh, We've got a few of you. Anybody, hey, anybody in the Flip family that wants to jump on and say something? Um, and Levi, Levi is actually somebody that's crushing it. Uh, we buy a ton from tired landlords who have tenants that aren't paying. Actually, I do too. Um, I've, I definitely buy stuff where people are saying F you to the landlord and they come in and, and evict. Or I come in and evict because they don't want to go through that process. I get OPM, other people's money, to go and do that. And all of a sudden I fix their problem, they cash out of the deal. I evict a landlord that's being, or a tenant that's being a jerk and I put it back, you know, we renovate it and put it back out to the open market. But hey, anybody that's in the Flip family that wants to jump on, I don't know how much time I'll have to bring people on, but hit down, it looks like there's a, uh, a video thing down there. I'm, I'm happy to bring you in. Let's see who we got first. We got Allie. Of course we'll get Allie. She's the first one on there. 
and it's, it looks like it's joining. I pressed it. Let's see if it actually brings you hey. on. Hey! What up, Ali? What's up? What up, Alejandro? What are you doing? <laughs> huh? I said, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm cooking dinner. You're cooking it? Where are you cooking? Yeah, I'm making some sweet potatoes, some pasta, some there steak. There you go. I, I see Johnny just joined. Johnny, she's making oh, food for those gains. Hey, Ash. Hey, all right. So, Ali, real quick. You have a flip that's in its uh, tail end of closing, that one in upstate. Yeah, about maybe two weeks left to close. Yeah, two weeks left. Okay. Yeah. So give me your numbers on this bad boy. Uh, purchase for 220 Rehab for 148 Under contract reselling for 500 They already got their mortgage commitment, and it's already appraised at 500 So we should be all good to go. So two, you bought it for 220 Yeah. Put 148 into it. Yep. And you're selling it for 500 When you put it on the market, how long did it take to put them under contract? Six days. Six days. How many offers did you get? We had only two offers. Two offers. And you and you took the one right away because they were giving you what you wanted. Yeah, so they, they offered 50K over ask, no inspection, 10K appraisal gap guarantee, mm -hmm. and uh, 10K EMD. Yeah, I think uh, something that I really liked about it is when you were talking to me about that property, because I, I remember the 50K over thing, you priced it 50K less than what you were expecting in order for that to happen. And you're very yeah. intentional with it. Yes, yes. So we wanted to create like um, a lot of like buzz, you know, uh -huh. um, which we did because we had a ton of people go look at the property. Uh -huh. um, but surprisingly, people didn't like the basement. Which they didn't like the basement? Yeah, it was um, too creepy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the, the, the buyers that we have, um, were, it was their 20th offer. It was their 20th offer. And I remember you telling me they were crying once you accepted it. Yep. That's and a pretty good feeling. Our net profit will be around 53000 So 53 k net profit. Now, yep. this is, this is going to be a leading question because I know the answer to it. But I just want to do – I want this flex. Um, do you happen to have another property in the neighborhood that you're currently renovating? Yeah, it's down the, it's down the block. <laughs> yeah, it's down the block. And did you happen to have the buyer that you didn't choose already in line to buy the new property? Yeah, they are very interested in this property and it's going to be now it's so Norwalk, the one that we have under contract is a direct comp for Winston, which is the one that this this potential buyer is interested in. Yeah. Yep. And we call that market domination. Yep. So what Ali's saying is the property she has under contract is going to be a comparable property that sets the price point for the new one that she also has in the same neighborhood. Once you understand trends and once you really get momentum in some of these neighborhoods, you can literally create the new trends, right? On price point, a lot of times with finishes, uh, you can create the buzz around things. And you did that perfectly. Now, Ali, yeah. did you leverage OPM to do it? The, so Norwalk, yes. We leveraged about 80% OPM. And then for Winston, 100% OPM. There you go. Was it hard finding OPM to do that? No. Not at all. See, I, you know, I think it's interesting that, um, and this was this is was the exact same for me. What I'm about to say is, most people, their biggest like roadblock or mental roadblock, false belief pattern, hesitation, skepticism is about the money when they're first getting into the game. I'm sure it was the same for you. You're like, well, people are just going to give me money for flips, even though I have no experience, don't have anything. You know, I don't know what your credit is or anything like that. It's like, come on, like you're, you're full of shit, you know. But once you learn it, literally, like first couple of weeks of learning this game, it's like, okay, the money is like the easiest part, right? As long as you understand the numbers. Um, so I'm very happy for you. Now, can I ask you a financial question? Yeah, yeah. How much profit are you in since joining the program? Less, less than two years ago? Yeah, so, we, so by the end of this year, we'll be almost right at 200,000. 200K, two years. And you're just getting started, my friend. Yeah. Yes, yes ma'am. Well, congratulations. I don't want to take, you know, have you on here too long. Thank you for joining. Um, you. If, you, if anybody's on the fence about the program, do you want to say anything to anyone? Um, honestly, like you're going to be scared no matter what you do. I, when, I did, when I became a nurse, I was scared. I was scared to go and put needles in people. But you're going to be 
there. It's good to be there. Just let that fuel you and let that like act as like that driving factor. But you're just going to keep getting on these lives, continue watching everyone speed, and you're going to be continually asking yourself like, why am I not doing it? Just do it. Yeah. But, hey, hey, and actually one follow up question. Your dad was kind of skeptical about me when you first joined, right? Oh, <laughs> did, did I win your dad's approval yet? Johnny was skeptical. <laughs> well, did I win your dad and oh. Johnny's approval? Yeah, my dad rocks that shirt and that hat every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love because you told me at first. I was like, he's skeptical. What? What the fuck? Like, I'm like, I'm like all offended. And now I, I, you post stuff when he's rocking the shirt. I'm like, oh. Yep, I bring. I, I try to include my dad for everyone that's watching. I try to include my dad into my flips because he actually went to a seminar about seven years ago, almost eight years ago. Now I told Jake this story when I first started the program and he couldn't afford, cause we don't come from money, you know? So he couldn't afford to get into this mentorship. This was not this one, but like one from years and years ago. And so him and my gave it up. They're like, Oh, well, that's not for us. We can't do it. And they walked away and they always regretted that because they thought it would be really, you know, a really good thing for them to do. And so then, you know, fast forward to now and I tell them, yeah, I'm going to start flipping houses. I joined this mentorship and my mom was like, wait, what? And my dad was like, you know, it was like a, it was just, it's a funny story. But, um, so I try to include them in the process as much as I can. So. Yeah. And, and you know that he's super proud of you too. Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you, Ali. I'm gonna let you go back to cooking dinner, making those gains. Um, <laughs> I appreciate you jumping on. Bye, guys. All right. See you. How do we do this? How do we do this? Remove. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, and hey, by the way, and Flip Fam, if anybody else wants to get on, uh, just put it on there. But people are skeptical with this stuff. Like, for me, a lot of you guys know Grant. Grant is the VP of our program. Grant's my best friend. I've known him since I was 17 years old in college. He knows too much about me. He knows I know too much about him as well. I know where the, the bodies are buried, but... um. You know, Grant knew me when I was writing checks for like five bucks and saying, you got to wait till the first to cash it. Um, he knew, he knows where I came from. And, uh, but when I first started, I went to the seminar and I didn't really tell anybody because I put 15 grand on my girlfriend's credit card. I had 700 bucks to my name. And once I started telling people about it, it was after I went to the seminar and I started at it, people were like, you're getting scammed. You should play it safe. You had a good job. Just go to a job and get benefits. Uh, even Grant, my best friend, who was a real estate agent, he was like, Jake, uh, like, what are you doing, dude? Like, I could have taught you this. I was like, you flip house? He's like, no, but I'm a real estate agent. I know everything about it. And uh, he was actually my first agent. He, gosh, I mean, first eight or nine flips, he's the one that wrote them up, got commissions on selling them. But there's always going to be people on the outside looking in, telling you not to do it. And I, I personally don't think that's an unhealthy thing. I mean, people are looking out for you, right? And I'm a dude from Instagram, I'm self-aware of that, like I get that. But um, there's also, you know, in the guru space, the online marketing space or whatever you'd call it, the coaching space, like there's there's a huge integrity problem, right? And people know that, like there's people out there lying about what they do or teaching from a book or taking people's money and running. So I get that skepticism, it's warranted, right? Um, and you're gonna hear that from other people. I think most of the time they're either A, trying to look out for you or B, it, it's still not negative intention, but sometimes they feel like that's something that they want to do. And there's a little bit of, I don't know if it's jealousy or envy, but I, I don't even know if those are the right words, but it's like projection because you're doing something that they may want to do. So you get a lot of, uh, you know, stones being thrown from glass houses with some of this kind of stuff. Expect that. They always want to say something when you're, when you're, you know, going through it and putting the work. But then when you have results, they always say that they believed in you, right? And that's totally fine, right? I've, I've had the same thing and that's totally cool. But uh, I went through it as well. People that get in the group get that totally fine. Like it actually, because there's so many people out there that do this kind of stuff with, with that lack of integrity or they tell you you're getting something and then they'll upsell you to something else. That actually presents an opportunity for us. Um, I mean, this page is my name. It's on Flip Secrets. It's, it's my name and my reputation's behind it. And, a lot of pressure on my shoulders, and I take that shit gladly, my friends. So I just want to put that out there. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we've got all the heavy hitters here. All right, drum roll. Where are you at? Is it going to pop up? 
There she is. Hey, Jake. Miss Lydia. What's cracking, my friend? How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. I need, Lydia, I need more excitement. I'm on a roll over here. I need you to be yelling <laughs> in that car. <laughs> no, I'm just tired from today. But yeah, I'm excited what, to be here. What are you up to? So real quick, I'm, I'm about to put Lydia on blast right now. <laughs> Lydia has been in for 10 months, right? A little over 10 months? Yeah. And so you got in, what, last year in September, October, November? No, I started in September last year, yeah. Late September. A little yeah. over 10 months. Zero real estate mm -hmm. experience. Yeah. Actually relatively new to the United States in general, right? Oh, you're mute. You're on mute. I can't hear you. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah, it's a little delayed, but... It's cool. I think we got this. Give me a hello. Let me just make sure I can hear you. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. I got you. So Lydia started, um, she was hustling. I think you were doing, you're helping people doing refinished hardwood floors, right? Yeah. So, so basically I moved to us four years ago and my first job was, I used to help guys, uh, sand hardwood floors and I also work with ciders. So I used to clean up for them. Yeah, that's how it all started, construction-wise. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, and I remember you telling me this story. I thought, this your story is like, it's beautiful. It's the American dream. But you you were doing this. You were like, sanding the hardwood floors is hard-ass work, right? Like, yeah. it's tough. Sure. But I remember you said, we were working for these people that were buying the houses, and they were making all the money. And that's yeah. what kind of struck your interest into it, re re realistically. And you saw that yeah. and you pursued that opportunity once you saw it. Right. And uh, I mean, yeah. I, I won't get into your whole story. I think you should write a book. Um, but <laughs> fast forward, because just because I'm only going to keep you on for five minutes or so here. Fast forward to right yeah. now. How many flips deep are you? 100% other people's money flips in your first 10 months in the game. So we've sold seven houses by now. And right now we have one on the market and we have four rehabs right now. Yeah, so seven already sold, one yeah. on the market reselling and four in renovation, right? Yeah, exactly. All using OPM? All using OPM. Yeah. <laughs> and I was not, <laughs> I was, it was really hard for me at first, you know, like that, that's something that like the program changed on me because like it was hard for me to talk with lenders put myself out there to talk with gap funders and I've been able to, to get better at that. Yeah. And yeah I mean, you're living proof yeah. that you're, that, dude, I remember you were like, I'm having, <laughs> this is, this is very cool. You're like, I'm having trouble meeting new gap funders. And I was like, yeah. why, why don't you post about it? There's a lot of people that follow you because I feature your work all the time. And, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think you're like, Oh, I just posted something. And uh, by the end of the day, they were committed <laughs> to this next deal. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, but, you know, it's a scary thing putting yourself out there. It's like you're putting yourself out there vulnerably, right? A lot of other people, I mean, you're only 10 months into the game. A lot of people may be like, wait, what are you doing? Like, you know, people questioning things and you're putting a spotlight on yourself. Like doing, doing this stuff where I'm on the camera, like it's not necessarily easy. You get a lot of skepticism. Some people are doing, you know, giving you question marks. But it's also very effective if used correctly, if you know your numbers and you know how to communicate the value in what you're doing, which I think you've done a beautiful job of. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, and also like at first I thought, well, I'm asking for money, but at the end it's like you're giving someone an opportunity to make money, you know? So that's kind of like what clicked and changed for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it feels like you're like asking for money for a flip. It's exactly what you said. No, it said we changed our mind. We're giving someone an opportunity to make a very good return at a time where the stock market may not be doing the same thing, secured by an appreciating asset, which is dope. Yes, that's right. You good? Yeah, yeah I'm good. With, you right. with me? <laughs> no, no, you're good. Well, no, I just, I, look, I'm bringing, I'm going to, there's other people that are going to come on too. This is kind of like a little flip flam meetup virtually. Um, yeah. Can I ask you a financial question? For sure. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> All right. How much profit have you made in the in your first ten months? A little over three hundred k. In ten months. Yeah. 
That ain't bad. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, look at you're trying to it, it hasn't, feel that smile. It has <laughs> it hasn't been easy, but um it's worth it and I feel like I'm in power with my time. Um you know, and I'm not even investing out of state yet, but we'll get yeah. there soon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, she is the the infamous Lydia from Minnesota. <laughs> I appreciate you jumping on. Uh, thanks, thanks for showing Jake. your face. Yeah. Do you have anything sure. you want to say to anybody on the fence? So I waited for a year to to get in the program. I used to follow you, and um, I was scared. I talked with Grant a couple of times. I'm like this OPM thing. Like it's just, I, I I just couldn't believe it. So if anyone is just like overthinking it, just do it. It's it's really a hundred percent worth it. So. I did not know you were watching for a year. Yeah, I was. I'm mad at you now. We're going to have yeah. words later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if okay. you were a year and 10 months in right now? Yeah. Everything no, happens there... for a reason, though. It was yep, the right absolutely. time. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right, my friend. Thank you for joining. I appreciate you and all the hard work that you're doing, how you're supporting and providing for your family and giving your time as well. And thanks for giving us some of that valuable time today as well. Appreciate you, Lydia. Thank you. All right. Take it easy. Good to see you. All right. Lydia is a beast. So Lydia is flipping houses um, using OPM, uh, but she's doing it locally in her markets. Uh, Allie, who was on before Lydia, she's flipping houses in the same state. Well, she's also provided funds uh, for other people's deals, had partnerships in states that are like 1,500, 2,000 miles away. But the current flip where she's got like three in the neighborhood, they're in the same state, but I believe they're like a five or six hour drive away. It's probably like 400 miles away. So you can run this game with this game plan uh, anywhere, as long as you run the numbers correctly. That's what it's all about. All right, I, I gotta get somebody else out here. All right, at the top of the list, I got my, my guy, Ray Garino. Warning in advance, he's got a strong Manhattan accent. And he's coming on. Actually, Ray is a boost. What's up? Ray Garino, what do you, to what do we owe you blessing us with your presence today? What's going on? Everybody How are you, brother? Stop. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing you, good. You're in the office, huh? I am in the office. People yeah, don't believe so that I have a full-time job, and I'm here until the, from the sun rises till the sun goes down. So. Do you at least have a good view? I really don't. I really don't. It's really like a pretty shitty view. I got a TV. I have my this. I have this. My screens. It's really not that fancy. There you go. There you go. Well, Ray, so you work in 9 to 5 Manhattan, right? I'm sorry? Are you working in Manhattan? I work in Manhattan. I work what in New York. What do you do? Financial advisor. That's the easiest way to... There you Just go. <laughs> yeah, break it down. You work with numbers. Great I've given financial advice to, uh, I manage 401k business. I manage uh, private wealth money. Um, it's a variety of different things, but it's really like nine to nine. Jobs. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a lot of times where I was trying to get back with you and you're like, you, you, you're like, hey, I'm going to send you my before and after pictures, but I'm going to have my assistant send it over to you. I'm like, man, this guy's <laughs> wrong with the assistant. This guy's big time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, funny, funny enough, some people in the Flip family know it. my mother's actually my assistant for real estate. Oh, I didn't know that. That's that's awesome. Well, some tell us about your real estate. Oh, now you know. But. Yeah, now everybody knows. You're immortalized. A shout out to your mom, Mrs. Garina. What's going on? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. So, so tell us. I don't. I don't. Have you been in for a year? A little over a year. I've probably been in it for. Um, I would probably say like a year and a half. Yeah. Okay. And, you, and you've got a unique thing going because you're not flipping anywhere in New York, right? I have never done a deal in New York, ever. But you're doing them in a lot of other states. Correct. So closest deal I've done is probably Philly. So probably like 250 miles. Um, most of my deals are in Florida where that's, you know, what? Three hour plane ride, 20 hour drive. Yeah, there you go. And you're able to do this even though you have a nine to nine where you're you're grinding out the hours in the office, right? Correct. I have I've always gone and like seen my properties. I personally travel to see them. I'll go once, maybe right around the time of closing, once towards the end, 
and that's really it. So I've always built out a network in the area. So I do travel to the areas, I will say that. But um, during the process, I'm not really going very often. Philly, I'll go to a little bit more often as it's a drive. But Florida, you know, I've done deals there where I've never even seen the deal or stepped foot in the deal. Yep, that, I mean, that's how I usually roll. But you guys, everybody sees all my before and afters or the videos and stuff like that. But all that stuff is texted to me from contractors and realtors. And I just put like, you know, I put writing on it, you know, do, make, make it a nice little, sh nice little bit of showmanship. So everybody knows what's going on. But my question for you, Ray, is how many flips deep are you since joining? I am on my today. I went on the contract on my 18th deal. 18? No 18th. shit. Yeah, and you sent you know you sent one of my favorite um, one of my favorite DMs that I've got, uh, and it was about like your portfolio. You're like my crypto year to date, oh not good. My uh, my stock portfolio equally not good, but year to date on your flips. What are you just year to date since January first to right now? January first, I mean this is carrying over a lot of deals from um, from that I bought in 2021. Mm -hmm. um, I have a closing tomorrow. If I include that one, I'm just under 300. For the 300 year. on the year. We got half the year left. You know that, right? I guess five months. That's exactly. Exactly. I got to make up for the crypto and stock portfolio. Yeah, God, me too, man. Me too. Well, hey, Ray, I appreciate you jumping on. We have a bunch of people that are going to jump on, which is pretty cool. Uh, thanks for showing your face. I know you got busy stuff going on in there in the office. And uh, you got anything you want to say to anyone that's out there? Listen, um, similar to Lydia, right? I waited a year to join guys. I joined at the end of 2020 or beginning of 2021. Uh, it's probably a huge mistake, like huge, right? For waiting. Um, I literally waited a whole year. I started following Jake at the like, beginning of COVID. Um, and I just waited and waited. I was like, I don't know what the hell he's doing. I was very skeptical. I was dead wrong. Meaning, Did, did you hate me at first? I was like, what the hell is this guy talking about? I was like, I was like, I've never heard. I was like, I've been around real estate my whole life. I was like, I have no idea what he's talking about. I was blown away and dead, dead, dead wrong. Even after I joined the program, I still was like, I was still trying to do it a little bit of my own way. And I was like, and I actually, I'll tell this very quick story. I did it my own way. I didn't follow yours from start to finish. And I lost money on my first deal. And when I basically like, I was like, okay, I'm going to do it his way. And ever since then, I've been profitable. I've only lost money on one. Go. There we go. And, and uh, it, it doesn't sound like you're at 18 deals. I didn't even know that. I thought you were hovering around 10, 11. That, uh, it sounds like the rest of this year is probably, I mean, you're just getting started. I guess I'll say that. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's people that are watching you now saying, what the hell is this guy Ray talking about? What the hell is Jake talking about? <laughs> so there's people in that position. So welcome to the show, my friend. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Ray. I appreciate Here's you, bro. Buddy. All right. Take it easy. Got it. This is pretty fun. What's up, John? Good to see you. All right. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got Levi. I've never seen Levi in person, but I know he's crushing it. And it is, well, let's see if he's here. Let's see if he shows up. Levi! Hey, what's up? Bro, that is a solid beard. Thank you. You're welcome. Josiah is here, too. He's back behind me. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Is the Instagram profile formerly known as Josiah in yeah. the building? Somewhere. Let's see him. There he what's is. Up? Josiah, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Yeah, did Levi tell you I was trying to tag both of you guys one day on one of those projects? And I was like, uh, I can't find this dude's freaking profile. And uh, you're like, I'm like asking you, I didn't want to sound dumb. I was like, what's this? Like, I know I've talked to you guys in the group chat and everything. I'm like, where the hell is the profile? And finally, I'm like, dude, am I missing something? He's like, no, he took a little hiatus. So you've been the uh, Instagram profile formerly known as Josiah. Perfect. Yeah, for a while. He has one now, though. We're getting them caught up. So yeah, there we go. There we go. So yeah. you guys have a pretty unique uh, thing going over there. You have I mean, you have a brick and mortar flipping shop now, right? Yeah, so we're in our office now we flip locally in our own market. And then we also flip uh, remotely. So yeah, are you in Montana? Wyoming, Wyoming, I get those mixed yeah. up. Sorry, dude. I'm still yeah. learning the country. I'm out of California. So I'm out of that box now. Right. 
Yeah. Um, so talk to me. How much volume do you guys do? Because I know you share some stuff, but you guys are on an absolute tear. Yeah, so we don't um, – we really – found your program because we were doing like five or six deals a year in our local market just part-time and we only have about 30,000 people in our local market and uh, we just didn't have the volume that we wanted and so we're like we need to figure out how to invest out of state and get some more volume going and so we found your program with the intent of just investing remotely um, and it helped us with that a ton. We were able to evaluate some other markets and we actually landed in Michigan is where we do most of our flips now. Um, and we're not doing like the huge numbers, like with the huge margins, like a lot of flip fam is we do more just base hits, 25, 30 grand and try to keep them rolling. Yeah. That's, that's actually for me, that's my bread and butter. The, like the, the singles and doubles where it's, ARV 200 to 250, ideally less. Um, they're lower profit, but a lot of times they're more predictable, uh, not only with resale, but also they're yeah. a good plan B because they're great rentals. But I found within that range, like in those in the entry level range, mm -hmm. the finishes in the homes are super predictable. Like, you know exactly what yeah. to put in your kitchen, especially in the flooring. Like you'll see yep. five comps in the neighborhood and they all have the same exact thing. And that's exactly why we moved to Michigan. They're all small houses, 900 to 1,000 square feet, three bed, one and a half bath. We can be completely in and out in three or four weeks. Um, so now we're, you know, we've been doing like four or five a month pretty consistently. That's great. You were at four or five, or you at five or six a year? Now you have four or five Before, yeah. Yeah, in our local market. So are you still touching the local market? Yeah, we kind of um, put it on the back burner while we were getting everything established in Michigan. But we have one that we're closing next week to purchase in our local market. And then we're that's the only one we've got locally. So yeah. And you guys' work is fantastic. I've seen all the ones in the local. I didn't even know you went over to Michigan. I see you yeah. guys were crushing there in Montana slash Wyoming. Yeah. Yeah. It's sweet because Michigan, it's like our average purchase price is probably about 50 grand. Um, yeah. So they're, they're super cheap. And then most of them are selling for 110, 115, right around there. How are you funding them? Uh, OPM. OPM yeah. still? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we have some, re we have some really good investing partners where we'll take down either the whole deal with them and do 100% private money. And then we still use a hard money lender as well. Perfect. So. That's beautiful. I love that, dude. Can I ask that financial question I've been asking everyone else? Yeah, I don't have an answer for you because we've been, <laughs> I don't even remember when we started, but we've been doing four or five a month at about 25, 30 a pop. You, so, six figures a month. Yeah. That's a million dollar year, my brother. We're getting there. Yeah. Well, congratulations, dude. And it's good to see the beard, man. Like that has Wyoming. Yeah. And all that. I'm jealous. <laughs> You know, uh, I started watching, um, and this is Montana, right? But I started watching Yellowstone. Yeah. Is it yeah, like that are, out there? No, no. I grew, oh, up on a, me. I grew up on a ranch, and it's nothing like that. So, I, dude, I was like, yeah, man, I want to I want to be there. You know, they're, they're fighting and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, dude, this is the life that I'm going to be all about. I would, I would last yeah. two hours there. I you mean, you missed your chance to move to Wyoming when you moved from California. We're getting a lot of people from California coming in. Yeah, so. dude, it's uh, uh, Montana and Wyoming. Um, I'm, I'm not joking around about the two states. I, I did get that wrong, but uh, I think Idaho as well is a big one. Yeah. Florida, Tennessee, and Texas. Yeah. Tennessee's yeah. nice so far. It's just super humid, man. I'm just sweating my face off. I sense it. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Good yeah. control. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I yeah. appreciate you guys getting on. Do you have anything to say to anybody? No, I would just say, you know, if you are looking for something, because we've, we've been a part of a lot of different programs. Um, I really do think yours is the best at just breaking it down from day one to actually closing. And you don't really have any excuses for not executing after you've been through your program. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. I was going to say, if he's like, yeah, I've been through a few, and uh, he's like the second or third best. I was like, dude, come on now. <laughs> so, no, hey, I appreciate you guys. Levi, the Instagram profile formerly known as Josiah. Good yeah. To see you. And uh, 
Yeah, take it easy, man. Keep keep getting it, man. There's okay. there's a lot of opportunity right now, and I'm glad that you found a little spot there. Yeah, me too. So thanks, All right. Jake. All right, thank you. See you. See ya. Well, this has been pretty cool. I know I know a lot of the folks in the group, uh, just from like their name, and we'll do like DMs back and forth. But Levi and Josiah, I've never I've never done a live with them. I have with Allie. Uh, I don't think I've talk to Ray face to face like that before. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got here. We got Bridget. Oh, Bridget's about to come with with the fierceness. This is pretty cool. Huh? <laughs> it's like a who's who of the flip fam. Bridget, where you at? I pressed accept. We'll see if she comes in. Um, but anyway, guys, if you're interested in the program, again, it's going up in price point next month. Um, we're going to do open enrollment. So if you have applied, uh, you have priority right now with the spots remaining. But uh, if it goes in next month, you start from scratch. I think next month we're only going to be dealing with 50, okay, 50 people that are in our schedule and all that kind of stuff. Then we're shutting that back down. So if you want to get in at the current price point, get in now. Again, 14-day money-back guarantee, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, yeah. Call my bluff. But if you like it, I'm calling your bluff that, you know, if you were skeptical about your ability to do this, I'm going to show you what you can really do and how you can leverage other people's money. I feel very strongly about it. Bridget's not getting on. Bridget is unable to join. I just got the thing that said that. Let's see. We got anybody else? Nobody else from the Flip fam? Uh, Drew. Now, if you are in the Flip fam, you have to request to join. There should be like a camera somewhere on here. But uh, let's, all right, this is, a girl, this is a good one right here. All right, so what happens if you purchase a flip and rehab it and it doesn't sell? Well, you may have run your numbers incorrectly if that's the case. So if, there's some, if you have a flip that's on the open market, it's one of two things, right? You're either overpriced and your numbers are off or there's something going on within inside of the house, such as like the layout, something that you did with rehab that's a little bit different or off. And so typically what I like to tell people, if you're not getting activity into the house, um, if, you're, or if, if you're not getting offers, if it's not selling, if you are getting activity, there's something going on with the renovation, right? It's either, you know, it's a weird layout or you pick the wrong colors or finishes or something like that. that. That's what it is if you are getting people in and you're still not getting your offer. If you're not getting people in from the beginning, your price, it's a price thing. And we don't even know if the rehab's done right. But that just means your price is too high, where people aren't even willing to go take a look at it. Now, what to do, you got, I mean, there's a ton of things you can do. You can, so what I would do, and what I've done before, if I had something that, let's say it's not even just not selling, but let's say I have a property that um, I went over budget, or I had to fire a contractor, or, you know, a number of different reasons. Um, I always pay very good attention. I was just telling Levi, and the Instagram profile, formerly known as Josiah, uh, those numbers that are lower with his Michigan flips where he's buying for 50, he's putting like 15 to 20 into him, selling for 120, 125. With stuff like that, typically, it, even if, if you go over budget or you can't make the profit that you want, if you refinance it out, even with increasing uh, interest rates, there's tons of like private OPM type rental lenders that aren't gonna lend to you based on your personal credit score. Instead, they're gonna lend to you based on what the property's worth as well as what type of income it can generate. So I would refinance it out, throw a renter in there or refinance it out and turn it into a short-term rental such as an Airbnb. Okay, that, that is plan B you know, for a lot of purposes. That's also like a good plan A um, because you may not be making like the, the huge sum of money that you would with a flip, but you make that mailbox money, that monthly cash flow, and you can write off a shit ton as far as depreciation is concerned on your taxes. Okay, but that's a, that's a good question. We go over that in the program too. All right, let's see. I'm, I'm trying to find a mentorship question. Teach construction. Yeah, we, we do teach construction. Went over the price point. All right, so, um, if somebody's ready to go and check it out and see more, you click the link right here, the link below. Um, what you're going to see on that page is testimonials from tons of people like you've already seen come on onto this live, like different people in the Flip family talking about 
candidly talking about the program, talking about their experience. If you like what you read there, you like what you see, you're going to go to the next page. It's going to have a quick application where you're going to answer some questions. Once you submit that, if everything looks good, you'll be you'll go to another page uh, that has the ability to schedule a call. You'll hit somebody on the team, Grant, Vicky, Chelsea, Allie, uh, Johnny, right? Everybody starts with a, or ends with a Y, and you'll schedule a call. You have to make that call. If you miss that call, like just show up the way that you would want to put your best foot forward. Ask us the hard questions. We'll ask you questions about what your goals are, and if there's if there seems to be a fit, we'll give you the invite to come in, right? It's not for everybody. It's not cheap. It's not free. I don't do the work for you, but it's the absolute best way to get into the game. And so if you're ready to get out of your own way, move forward, um, you know, put in the smart work and the hard work program will be a good fit. If you're not, this is at least entertainment value. Okay. Either way. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Ah, oh, Puria. I didn't know if you'd make it here, dude. Puria has been promising me a, uh, a testimonial. For months now. Bri, are you on? What's up, dude? Hello. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Uh, pretty. Uh, hey, not, there you are. I got you. What's going on, man? It's all good. It's all good. Busy, busy. Yeah, yeah. Are you paint. You painting one of your own flips right now? Yeah, we are in the project. We are. We are remodeling a kitchen. The crew is working hard. Oh. Let me see that uh, opening into the uh, into the kitchen there. Hold on. Oh, I like that. This is all we did here. So it's a fan, one uh -huh. fan, two fan, zip going to the living room, zip going to the bathroom. So the whole the the people living in there, but we just you know remodeling the kitchen now. Mm -hmm. Looks so, good. Yeah, and I, this this men mentorship got me to the new animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're out there grinding, dude. I like it. And you're in Florida, right? I'm in Tampa, yeah. Yeah. And uh, what what number project is this? this? I mean, to be honest, this is not a flip. So, oh. one thing I need to say is that I mean, this is this is my experience, right? Coming to the mentorship that you have, it didn't just introduce the the flip industry. I changed my industry, and I'm doing remodeling at the same time i'm doing flips and i'm pursuing my my uh, general contracting for the building and all that so um it was a big change to be honest for me huge change yeah yeah well your last flip and i featured that bad boy on the page a little bit it was that one i think you painted dark and you got all those offers and you accepted the one and then you had another <laughs> offer like 20 grand higher afterward how's that one yeah going? I, I, we, we played with it and it worked. So the first one dropped and now we are on the 430 one, the highest one. The four, 410? 410, yeah. That's beautiful. So if that goes through, and that, that's not your first one, but if that no. goes through, what are you going to make on that flip? And you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No, it's okay. It's, it's going to be 100K plus. 100K plus? Yeah. The six-figure flip, the elusive six-figure flip. Those are hard to come by, man. That's really good. Think, one thing, in this market... If it was four months ago, it would be sold by now, cash even more. Yeah. I, I'm sure about it. And it's just be, uh, one thing maybe people are watching me. Hey, I, about my experience, I didn't have that much of experience. Yes, I did some remodeling here and there, but it wasn't my job. Second, I had never analyzed the real estate market. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to do it and all that. So... I, I, saw, I saw your page. I saw you, a guy, is just talking. I'm a best, I'm a, a favorite investor, blah, blah, blah. Said, what is he talking about? Let, I, I follow you for a year and a half, I think. Not even the one year. One year a and year a and a half? <laughs> Dude, come on. So literally, I lost all that money for a year and a half, right? <laughs> yeah, I talked to three or four people inside the family just to make sure, oh, dude, I'm going to pay for something that is legend. And I'm going to get 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 you know get that money back and all that so then i jumped in it there was insurance like uh, what is it money money back guarantee or something yep 14 days 14 days i said okay i'm gonna get in if nothing goes good and all that i'm gonna get out so yeah. here i there what it's almost a year right i think so i thought it was a little bit less maybe a little bit less than a year so so far five flips so far like uh, 10 plus remodeling project just because this mentorship changed all my 
uh, wheel, to be honest. Yeah. And, and how much? How much are you gonna make just on the five flips? Um, I think it's four four hundred k plus. Congratulations, brother! That's awesome. It is. No, seriously, and that's that's amazing. You're less than a year. You're four hundred k plus. That's yeah, amazing. Well, but, uh, one thing I, I this is what I learned in my life, right? When when you are you are getting fat, you want to lose weight, you try to go to the gym, right? You go one day, the second day you don't go, things like that. Then you said, okay, let me get a trainer because once you get a trainer, you are obligated to work out to use the money you pay too, and yep. the trainer has a knowledge. This is the same thing. This is the freaking the same concept. Once I got there, I said, hey, I paid this much. Maybe now is even higher. I have to make that money. So I used all the knowledge and information you dumped on my head, the, the program, mm -hmm. a lot of information, good information. The first flip, 60K, almost five times more than what I, what I pay. There is no such investment, to be honest. I tried everything. I've been working hard for the last, I don't know, 15 years. So, Yeah, I mean, I, I think that um, when I first... Cause I, I tried to start a business before I got into flipping. I think the biggest thing that I, that I learned is working hard. I mean, it's obviously really, really good, but once you start leveraging resources and, and putting the right people with, with you, and it might mean per deal, you're going to make a little bit less, but if you leverage good people in different markets, that's when things can really go up. And that's the working smart part of things. Just the whole leverage thing. Yeah, and the other thing is we are getting to the industry that all the wealthy people are related to this industry. Yep, all absolutely. Of them. And uh, I wanted to say, so these are the things that I've been thinking. I mean, even I was thinking before I joined the group. Um, I forgot because I talked too much. No, you're good. <laughs> tell, tell me. Uh, me what, was it? what was it? Come on. Well, oh, you were talking okay. about, how about the OPM. It's about the OPM. That's all right. Two things. Uh, one thing I haven't flipped out of the state yet. Uh -huh. It's not because the knowledge is not enough that you provided. No, it is enough. It's because I got too busy with the main business, which is the remodeling. So uh -huh. that's why I didn't have enough time to focus on out of the business, out of the state, you know, flips. Second is OPM, right? So for the flips I have done, just two of them I used OPM. The rest of them I used my own money. I was thinking, okay, everything you provided is good. I don't really want to do the OPM. Let's let's use my own money, right? Mm -hmm. I started with that. It was good. I made money. Then I started the last two with OPM, and I love it. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and you, you don't I, – I feel like – now, pressure is a good thing, but you don't feel as much pressure. Um where if something goes wrong, you feel kind of like backed into a corner. Like, I feel like it, it allows me to operate more objectively when I'm leveraging. And your own money can, can make more money somewhere else. Yep, absolutely. And you have two different things going on at the same time. Last week, I got a confirmation that I have access to a million dollar account as an OPM with a good rate and all that. So I just need to, to, to move my ass and yeah. do more of those. Just keep working, and I know you will. Well, I, I appreciate you. Thanks for jumping on. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, I wish I would join earlier. Yeah. But when we want to join something, we think about it because in the beginning we feel like it's a big movement and it's it's a big payment. But um, look at the different people. It's not a scam. This is what I thought in the beginning. Oh, it's a scam. They're gonna get my money and all that. But this is not. And you are always there. Every single time I email you, within 24 hours, I got the answer. Good answers. Not like, hey. You got me on video, too. Videos, yeah, even a lot of things, yeah. It's not like, okay, so the, the robot is sitting there and just replying back, says, okay, we're going to get you back in 24 hours, solid for the video. No, yourself, your face, your voice, just answering all the questions. That's important. That's important. Well, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you jumping on. Looks like you guys are crushing that 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 job that's behind you there and uh thanks hey thanks for jumping in i'm very proud of my the progress that you've made i don't mean that in a weird way like you're crushing it keep it up my pleasure thank you thank you all right we'll see you man all right you guys we've been grinding here for an hour and five minutes i'm gonna jump off pretty soon
Are there any last minute questions about the program? Yeah, I moved to Tennessee. I'm in my new place. I actually have been a little bit silent on social media because real world, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, moving sucks. And we had like, we had a moving company bring all the big stuff. We we got a lot of stuff and we got three kids. We haven't, you know, we don't know anyone out here. Well, we know a few people out here. It's been tough. It's been very challenging. Um, But things are starting to settle down now. Uh, We like it out here, although it's the summer and I'm sweating. Um, And then throughout, uh, I was... Who was the last one that was on? I think when Levi was on, I hear a thunderstorm outside. That's something I'm not used to from California. Uh, but yeah, it, it's been good. This is something that we wanted to do. We had been really flirting with the idea of getting out of California once all the, the bullshit was going down. They were using kids to do weird stuff in, uh, in the, the schools and the governor of California. And we're, we love where we were from and we love our friends and everything. But it was time that we had the ability to do it. We had the flexibility to do it. So we just put the house that we're living in, we put a renter in it. Um, we kept our houses. We didn't have to sell anything. Uh, we have a nice, wonderful place with a little bit of acreage here in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. So we are here and it's been challenging, um, with the business, just staying up to date. Like one thing, and I know this is supposed to be about mentorship program, but one thing that, uh, for me, my mind works sometimes a little too fast and it's just going in different directions. I'll analyze stuff or overanalyze stuff. And so something that a mentor of mine told me like, there, there's no such thing as finding balance or perfect harmony, um, especially when you have big goals or high performer or whatever you want to call it. Um, so with what you're doing, when you're focusing on your work stuff, be 100% present with it. And then when you're focusing on your family or home stuff or whatever it is, you're going to work it out, like whatever it is, just be 100% present with what you're doing. And that's helped me quite a bit because I have, my mind has a tendency to start thinking about the things all the time. Um, so I bring that up because, you know, sometimes people are like, Jake, how are you doing all these different things? And it's like, well, I just, I'm hundred percent focused on the task at hand, but getting here and I'm in like, this is like the sixth bedroom of the house, which is a pretty cool color with that forest green there. But, um, I don't have a desk. There's just boxes everywhere. Um, you know, the kids aren't in school. We're unpacking and you know, the, the renovation that we did on, it's not done. Um, I've had trouble with it. Um, because I'm not hundred percent or I don't feel like I'm hundred percent on everything. Like a lot of times I'm in the office, like catching up on stuff or talking with an agent. My kids are right outside the door. Right. And they're like, they've left their friends, right. We're making new friends. And, uh, so when I'm working, I'm like thinking about the family. And a lot of times with them, when I'm with the family, I'm thinking about work. And so that's something I, I'm starting to get a little bit better. It's, I mean, we've been here for a few weeks. Um, so that's been the challenging part of it. The house is beautiful. The area is beautiful. Everybody's been super nice. We're actually going to a neighbor's house in about half hour. So we're meeting people. We're getting, we're getting going. Uh, it, it has been challenging for sure. Um, so yeah, that's how it is. I can't slow down. I like doing this. This is me actually slowed down. Um, as long as I'm present with what I'm doing, I'm good. My mind cannot slow down though when there's a bunch of different things on the plate and I can't like, like draw a line between the two, but I, I enjoy doing like family stuff is something I enjoy doing. Real estate is something I truly enjoy doing coaching. I love doing it. Like that's, it's my calling. And so there's all these things that I really enjoy. And I guess it's a, it's a good problem to have, I guess. But, um, I find myself a little, like not giving myself enough grace when I'm with the family and I'm thinking about there's something else going on, right? Or when I'm working and I'm thinking about family, oh, am I late for this? Like the kids just right there, they want to come in, should I go play? And uh, that's been challenging for sure. And thank you, Boss Man Rasta. I appreciate that. All right, all right. Well, I'm gonna give one last question. Find the right contractor. Who's your go-to lender? I've got tons of them. I'll do this one again. How much is the mentorship program? 23 G's. There's pay- payment plans. Um, there's a third party. If you've got a 620 credit score, make 35 grand a year. Um, that'll give you a five year loan for it. That it took a while to vet our program and we vetted them. I'd say probably 20% of people that get into our group go through that third party. They make their payments and then once they do their first flip, they pay that off. Um, so there's a lot of different options, but um, it's not cheap. It's not free. The price is going up next week or I guess next month in August. It's jumping up to 25 and then it'll jump up to 30. Um, but 
I mean, you've actually, it's actually a good transition closing thing. Like the reason we charge that price is because I want to have it at a low enough price point where I can show you, I can prove to you that, that you can get results that are 10 times that investment. Okay. There's nothing out there that's going to give you 10 times that investment in a year. Now, are you going to have to work hard for it? Yes. Are you going to have to get outside of your comfort zone? Absolutely. Uh, but if it, is it possible if you follow the steps, um, you know, essentially take no prisoners, make no excuses and get out there and do it? It's very, very possible. Okay. And that's what we're doing. We're creating beasts. Uh, we have the intention of creating beasts. And there's a lot of opportunity right now in the marketplace, you guys. So anyway, I'm going to run. It's been real. I'm going to keep this up as a post on Instagram. Uh, if you have questions, tag whoever it is that you saw in, in uh, uh, you know, on that jumped in for the interviews. Uh, tag them, ask them. I'm sure they'll get back to you. Everybody's pretty active on social. Um, but it's been real. Uh, looking for a few more of our dream clients and uh, hope that's you. But if not, no big deal. At least hopefully you're entertained and I will talk to you guys soon. Link is down here or above. Happy investing, y'all. It's been real. Thank you.